Hi, and welcome to the Plenty Rosa Homestead. Well, today is going to be a bonus video. I am going, to, I would really, today's our anniversary, so I'd like to make some pumpkin muffins. But in order to do the pumpkin muffins, I ran out of pumpkin pie spice mix. So I figured, let me do kind of like a bonus little video and show you how we make our pumpkin pie spice mix. That way you could put it in for long-term storage and use it when you want to make a pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie spice mix, uh, pumpkin pie, and have the spice mix for pumpkin muffins and other different things, okay? So please, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I hope you will, and I want to thank you for the few new subscribers that have subscribed to my page. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up, it's really important, and leave a comment, let me know. And oh, I see right outside my window, I got a gorgeous dough and, a, and three turkeys. Okay, so stay with me, I'll be right back. So the spices you're gonna need for pumpkin pie spice mix is you're gonna need cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, ground cloves, allspice, and just a pinch of pepper. So let's get started. So you need three tablespoons of cinnamon, and my tablespoon doesn't go into my jar, so I just take another one that goes in. So three half of teaspoons equal tablespoon. So let me just make it easier one. So back, you need two teaspoons of ginger. That's one. Two. You need one and a half teaspoons of nutmeg. Nutmeg is so good. Oh, I love the smell of it. And you need one teaspoon of ground cloves. And again, I'm just using my half a... You need a teaspoon of allspice. black pepper. And there you go. Now you've got some pumpkin pie spice mix that you can add to your storage shelf. Oh, it, oh, it smells so good. Okay, so let's now make some pumpkin muffins. Be right back. Now y'all can yell at me. I started to make the muffins and then I said, wait, let me do a video to show everybody how I do it. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna set your oven at 325, I'm sorry, 425 and let it preheat. And then get, this is a six tray, but I've got another tray. Get a muffin tray and either spray it or I use silicone little muffin things, okay? Then start your mix. The only thing I started it with was one and three quarter cup of flour and I put in a teaspoon of baking soda and one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, okay? So that's what's in here right now. Now I want to get the mix that I just made, and this is why I said, oh, stop, I'll do a video. 
And your mix, you want to put in one and a half teaspoons of your mix. There's one and a half. And then you want some ginger and you want a quarter of a teaspoon of ginger. And then you want a quarter, a, a half a teaspoon of salt. Now this is your dry ingredients. Well, I shouldn't say that. You want your sugar in, I'm sorry, which is you want a third of a cup of sugar. No, a half a cup, I'm sorry. I will have the recipe below. It's, I'm sorry, it's a half a cup of white sugar and then a third of a cup of brown sugar. Then what you wanna do is you wanna mix these together. Make sure you get out any kind of lumps. See, I don't have my coffee with me. And just put this bowl to the side for a moment. Now get a little bit smaller bowl, a medium sized bowl. And you want to put a half a cup of oil. You want one and a half cups of pumpkin. Okay, not pumpkin pie, just plain pumpkin. This I didn't measure out ahead of time. Which I think is gonna be this whole can. to work with. Okay, which comes out to a 15 ounce container. You're going to need to add to this two eggs and a quarter of a cup of milk. So as soon as I get this all out of here. Okay, quarter cup of milk. And two eggs. Then mix these together. And the reason why they do this is so that it evenly gets distributed between, like this is all together, the other pan, the other, uh, bowl was all together so it's a lot easier to do it this way than to just add the stuff one by one into the other one you won't get that even mixture of this pumpkin can you do it i guess you can but then are you going to get that even mixture OK, 
Okay, so that's mixed all together. Now let's get that other bowl. And I wish I had a clear bowl to show you, but it's just... And then basically put these two together. You're then gonna put it in your muffin pans, in your muffin cups, or the pans, whichever one you're doing. And you're going to bake them for five minutes at 425. Then leave everything in the oven, but reduce the heat to 350 and cook for 16 to 17 minutes. What you wanna be able to do is stick a toothpick in. You gotta remember this from your mother. Stick your toothpick in, and when you don't get any of the, the doughy substance, then you know it's done. And that's what it looks like. Okay, I'll bring you back as soon as I take the muffins out. So be right back. Look at these beautiful pumpkin muffins. Just can't wait to bite into one of them. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. I look forward to seeing you at the next one. And the next one is week three. September is your month for preparation. Bye-bye, everybody, and God bless.